Well, all right. Let's let's do it. How are tensions in uh, between India and Pakistan? Mm, looks, we'll never know. Looks like they're okay. Okay. Well, that's that's fine then. We got three slots in Beijing. God damn it! Vickers. Vickers. I'm here today to offer you the deal of a lifetime. You don't want to open a route this turn. Oh, so tempting. So tempting. I know, and you're staring at like that a hundred millions worth of like DC 850s, and you're just fucking flipping shit like ah. <laughs> I was, I was, I was. In my heart of hearts, I was hoping that it was a representative from McDonnell Douglas or even Boeing. I would have picked up a bunch of 727s and started swapping those in in North American routes. But, and by a bunch, I probably still I would have only the, been able to the, afford the like four or five. only has like the the Viscount. <laughs> yes, the Viscount. That uh, it's good for like it's... little tiny routes. It actually would probably be better. For some of the, uh, let's see, all the planes are half price. Yeah. Ten, ten million. That's like, I mean, if you want to buy some of them, I would wait until after you open up this uh, this new route. Well, that I mean they're not going to be for sale then. This is a limited time no, offer. No, 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 no. You can still afford to buy some of those planes after you open the new route. Oh, I was just either thinking about taking them for uh, for their incredible value, just so that I wouldn't be using any more of these DC six. I have forty one DC sixes in use right now, and another one sitting in a hangar. Yeah, well, the DC sixes have much greater range and have ten more seats. They have more seats. The they are not as they are not as efficient on gas, although they're both very good in that respect. Um, Basically, what the, what the Viscount is good for... Let me explain to you, Grimmeth, what the Viscount is good for. Because right. I know that you're I'm wondering. I'm looking forward to hearing it, yeah. Tell me more. Uh, the Viscount is basically for Europe. You, you find routes in Europe if you're based out of, like, Paris or London. Yeah. And you got a range of, like, 1,600... You're going to be able to get to Madrid, you're going to be able to get to Nice, you're going to be able to get to Rome. You'll be able to get to Athens. It's it's the little cheap, efficient plane that will get you to all of the places you need to be in Europe. Okay, sure. So With the exception case, of Rostov. After you open this new route, you can buy several of those and then stack them on those Europe routes. I mean, I could, but at that point, the sale would be off and there would be no point. Let's, you're, let's you do can still buy some of those planes this turn after you open your new route. It's not going to take all of your money. Oh, it was going to take all of my money to buy all of the planes. I was going to like, <laughs> I was going to try and order the maximum of ten. <laughs> do you even need ten of them? No, I would have sold them some of them back for for profits. <laughs> But it's going to be so marginal, the amount of money you'd make from that, right? Every amount of money that you make is an amount of money that I want to have. Oh, well, I'm so glad to hear that <laughs> argument from you based on all the millions we're losing from your hotel. <laughs> it's only like four or five million a quarter. <laughs> no big deal. I just drop that number all the time. Consider a tithe to the gods. All right, so this is not going. Um, this is going okay. It's not going great. It's still profiting us, but uh, let's drop that fare. See whether or not we can draw anybody on. Miami, not a great city at this point in time. Yeah, it's okay. It's it's not rocking the world here. All right, let's uh, go ahead and adjust this up another ten percent because this is still going well. All right, so Philly. Vancouver still sort of sitting pat. We're actually making more money off the LA to New York route. I imagine because you did increase fares last turn while also maintaining the 100% load. Yes. So the net value for you having the hotel 
it was denying it to Metlink, provided they want to spend the hundred plus million on buying it. Spite is a powerful motivator. All right. Says the person who wants to squeeze every penny he can out of the Vickers deal. <laughs> As I want to be spiteful to Vickers and drive them out of business by taking advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I, I do have to ask, what would make you more money, starting the route from London to Beijing and getting a turn's worth of that profit, or buying and selling these planes? I, you, you, it's a good question to ask. We'll never well, know how unless... Much does, well, how much does it... Inter I mean, you could fucking like make a save state, like fucking if you wanted to test the economic theory, but these inter-regional routes tend to make you, what, six, seven million? Um, they can if they're good. Basically, the only, like, the, the concern I have is that, uh, relations between... <sighs> loading. Loading times. I didn't think that was a thing in cartridge games. But, uh... Relations between the UK and China were not, like, super hot at this point in time, right? Let's see what the competition is and how they're doing. Oh, they're filling up a plane, so... Well, it's from Paris. It's a B707-320 that has a carrying capacity it's a, it's of a 160. Oh. So, it's comparable. But I was going to put three planes on this route. Or three flights on this route. Yeah. Let's try it. And they are running an average... They're running a 5% markup. I will go ahead and leave it at none. Eh, let's open this route. See how many millions we have left. <laughs> totally necessary sound effect, I know. That's... That was alright. Okay, so... I could buy three Viscounts just for fun at this point. Well, it's also in a matter of, like, efficiency sense, as you noted. Like, you can replace some of the DC-6 routes that you have and do something else with those DC-6s or sell them. Yeah. These are known for their comfortable ride. And they are worth... The okay, so these will be worth 10 mil... I'm buying them for 10 million. We can at least see next turn whether or not I even turn a profit back. I would... Imagine it might be that I would get exactly 10 million back. This would be the sell price for them, too. But we'll see. I can't no. clear myself out perfectly. Sure. Would but, it be uh, worth it for you to sell any of your spare DC-6s to buy more of those uh, planes? No, I wouldn't get enough back to do it. Well, I can I can go into the shop real quick here and uh, because take a my look question that. would be like, what are you going to do with all like the spare DC sixes that you might have? I only have a spare DC six. Oh wow, one DC six selling would it's not even worth that much. Yeah, they're not. They're yeah. I mean, this is slightly like more I, I than... think that's a better plane than the plane that you just got from Vickers, and that's not even worth ten million sold. Well, it's, yeah, it's not worth 10 million sold, um, because they, I mean, this is what it costs to buy one, and this is with the preferential treatment of being in the McDonnell Douglas Gold Star Super Plus Club. Right, normally they cost, uh, normally they cost less than that, but because you have unfavorable reputation with the United States... It's because of, and you will be relieved to uh, realize, but it's because of my Beijingity. Finally makes a return. You thought you were safe from Beijingity, or perhaps just were blissfully forgetting its very existence. All right, so the one route yeah. we have that's doing okay to Vienna, let's try and mark it up and see if everything's fine. 
I mean, with that in mind, I figure you'd just break even if you tried to sell any of those Viscounts. Well, and even if I did, I could still put those on one of those routes, free up some DC-6s, yeah. or some other activity somewhere. Surely they'll be... Although at this point, I mean, don't you want... You're like, you're <clears throat> looking to get on, like, bigger routes than what DC-6s would be used for, right? I'm looking for bigger capacity planes. Now, it's, do you want to use your negotiators for, like, anything before you end the turn? I don't really think so. I mean, if this uh, if this route starts going well, I might want to start putting more DC-8s on the London to Beijing route. But I'll go ahead and wait and see You might as well get that. more slots in your home city anyway. Right? I mean, my goodness. <laughs> <with you. laughs> that's the... That's the Grimoth is not entirely serious tone of voice. That's <laughs> that's Grimoth putting on a persona that he may or may not actually agree with. <laughs> Affectation. Alright, so, uh, let's... Okay. Actually, no, hang on a second. Let's, let's find out. Let's go to a business meeting here quickly. While uh -huh. we're in Southeast Asia listening to the great Southeast Asian music. Okay. I'm not going to let them conduct the meeting. Oh, okay. So, I'm actually just going to be listening to Southeast Asian music. All right. So, oh, no, I don't I don't I don't think this track is very good, but then again, I don't think any of the tracks in this game are very good. I thought you might have decided this would have been the moment to start going. No, 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 no. That's the Tokyo track. Yeah. There's a separate Asia track in Aerobiz. Oh, that's right. And it is. it does sound a little bit like this one, and it's sort of a little... It's one of the clunkier themes. Well, I, I do, think do, that the, do, the Asia do, track do, 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 in, in like Aerobiz is more chill than this one. This yeah. one's like perky of the... <laughs> Owning three business ventures and profits from business ventures are... <laughs> almost five million. All right, her so, I guess it's worth checking. What's giving you the profit in this business venture? <laughs> uh, yeah. Indeed. You know what? I'm going to go to Oceana just because we haven't listened to their music as much. There we go. Wait, no, 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 no. Wrong menu. Maybe because it's the fucking middle of nowhere. <laughs> No cultural facilities. North America. This arts pavilion is breaking even. Okay. Um, how is the hotel in London doing? Alright, so this turn it made up for other turns, which it cost you that much money. Yes. So that's the thing. The, the, the hotel in New York wasn't really an albatross. No, it was definitely an albatross. What with your one route to it. But the thing is, like, it wasn't actually... It, over the long haul, no, uh, it may or may not have been causing not, us money. <laughs> over the long haul, it was not generating, like, its worth in how much the hotel cost. Oh, no, I mean, it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't going to generate how much the hotel cost. Yes, now, it was... now whether it somehow like invented enough passengers for you that it ended up proving its worth, <laughs> plus denying passengers to whoever else would be transiting through North America, I don't know. You know this game better than I do. It it's theoretical it's theoretically possible it might have been useful to me in the days when New York was my hub for North America. But yes. that's those days are gone. All right, let's end this quarter. That's enough. Dra that's enough of those dramas. Everything is in Papit. Nothing else has been announced. Mm, that looks like it's more in original passengers than we had in the past. Metlink is really catching up in Europe, though. Or they're close in Europe. A little closer than I would like them to be. Everybody else is... Oh, I mean, I guess they're getting passengers out of doing stuff in the Mideast. It doesn't seem like it's worth it. Oh, man. I know. Look at that. We're almost as profitable as Metlink as an airline. 
if we do that just in terms of money, then I'll be able to, I mean, a computer player in either of these games, and in a lot of sort of oldie-timey video games in general, a computer player is going to be able to figure out how to spend money more efficiently than a computer is. If it's a turn-by-turn -turn based sort of a situation, if it's like real, like art, like a real-time strategy thing, yeah, the computer might be better able to, like, I don't know, optimize spending and production just by ter in terms of not having to use clicks and inputs to do it, and just sort of like commencing with things all at once. But here, no, no, we'll be able no, to spend you, better. You, as the human, will uh, have the advantage over the machine. Hooray! Take that, machines. That's right. Suck it down. Uh oh. Oh, Singapore. Oh, declared. Singapore declared independence. And the DC-9 had a successful maiden flight. And in this game, if I remember right, it's about as worthless as the Sud Caravel. Might be cheaper though. DC-9 30, 1500 range, 120 seats, 23.4 million. Okay, it does have more seats, and is cheaper than a Caravelle, but uh, it does have the same crippling range. Yes. It, it is admittedly cheaper than a Caravelle, yeah, by a significant amount. Three Viscounts! Yeah. Discount Viscounts! <laughs> Let's see whether or not if I sold them back immediately if I would turn a profit. How much money can be squeezed out of this? Drum roll. No! <laughs> Negative $400,000. <laughs> Alright. So the best you're getting from them is replacing some of the Europe planes. I... Three to be specific. <laughs> I will uh, get right on that. Yeah. Alright, what do we have going on here? First of all, London to Beijing, doing just fine. We should all put right. more plans on that. London to New York, or Los Angeles, also still doing fine. We need to put more plans on that. And also raise the fare. And Cairo to London. Okay. Let's see. That's doing just fine. That's alright. So we're using three there, one there, one there. Alright, so I tell you what. We have three planes going to Athens. Let's go ahead and just change those to Viscounts. Okay. Now they will have a smaller seating capacity. Alright. But uh, that just means that maybe I can try raising the fare above the floor. Mm. And see whether or not things still work out. This, oh, this will cost us passengers though. It will. It'll... Instead of like doing something like say if you slapped uh, one on Vienna. Yeah, a, a, a route that already has. Alright, fine, DC-6s. I appear to be going in the wrong direction every time for these. So that I have to scroll through all the planes. <laughs> I've managed to uh, figure out exactly what way it is that we need to go. Alright, okay. so... Yeah, definitely the uh, Vienna route, since that's so uh, poorly filled. Well, yes, but it also only has one plane on it, I think, doesn't it? It has one plane, and it's still poorly filled. All right, but then what do I use these other two Viscounts for? Well, there not there, like, another route that has less than three planes on it? Like, is the the one that's uh, directed to Espana? Like, how many planes does that have on it? That has one on it, but it's full. Okay. So you're thinking uh, I could put two Viscounts nice? on it? About, or, or yeah, or two Viscounts. What about uh, to Nice down there? How full is that? Uh, I think Nice was pretty close to full. Yeah. Okay, so it's two, and it's ninety-two percent. So you could stick the two uh, Viscounts on it then. I could. Ah, I went the right direction this time. Yay! Evolution. It's a mystery. <laughs> and 
If this stays full, maybe I'll negotiate for those last two slots. Bum, bum, bum. In Nice. Da 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 da. Ba da ba da. Ba da ba ba ba. Oh, we just have. Ju we're just shy of getting another DC-8 to try and send to Beijing from London. I think. 43? I think they cost, what, 49? Unless they want to have a sale. Maybe? Nope. Okay. See ya. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Lady See ya. Alright, so assuming we're gonna make another 40-ish million in profit next turn, where's uh, Bobo Air looking to expand? Bobo Air is probably still going to look... Bobo Air is still looking to maximize its interregional routes. Um, I'm basically going to continue to buy DC-8s to put on routes between London, uh, London, Los Angeles, and Beijing. Basically, just setting up those... Okay. Setting up those to uh, maximize profits. As long as we hold number one in those regions now, um, I just want to get the... just want to get those generating money um, as quickly as possible so we won't have to worry so much about that down the road. Right. So, and these are okay. It looks like we have reached the point where we have optimized these out. Okay, see our, our LA to New York route is no longer completely full at 30% above, so and I could that, either bump it down to 25 or... Actually making like more money than what you did before you even sold the hotel you were making less than seven billion now you're making over seven million yeah so it's probably just as well to keep it there just in case there's a fluctuation up um there'll be there'll be seats for it it'll be fine we'll be okay so now, how uh, long is it going to take this guy to get out of la looks like he'll be done next turn he'll be done next turn so we will have extra slots to deal with there. Let's go ahead and get more slots in Southeast Asia. Here, you haven't done anything for a few turns. Why don't you go to Beijing and ask for three slots? We won't need them all next turn. So, maybe I shouldn't get them. Gotta practice restraint. Just because I can have something doesn't mean that I should. I should remember this. He says this. as we're looking at our pounds of open slots in North America. <laughs> I'm not doing. I'm not looking at them right now. I'm in Southeast Asia. It's fine. It's halfway across the world. Shit. The oceans are lava. Oh damn it! The India-Pakistan War too. What can you tell us about the uh, history of the India-Pakistan War too, Krimith? It's fucked. War. Period. That's right. It's the end. That's all you need to know. War. War, two spaces, is wreaking havoc on India and Pakistan. And maybe that war isn't half two spaces so much as just, like, leading out of the way. <laughs> there you go. Everybody just get the hell away from this war. All, all the fucking, like, monuments just swam across the Pacific and arrived in Mexico City. That's right. And... Okay, so there'll be 18 more slots. We'll be able to do a negotiation for far more slots when this guy comes back. The very next day, that link with tons of like interregional like passengers. Yep, that's where they're getting their fat stacks from. All right. Doesn't seem like anybody else is making any really big moves. Although MetLink is, I guess they opened a route to Chicago last turn. I believe that's true. Yeah. I guess I could do that. Although made more money than MetLink this turn. Made more money than them. Why should I follow their example? It looks like, uh, I presume that's the war that cut profit there, because you, you lost several million, and so did MetLink. I don't have any interests in the Middle East. I don't know why. Uh, I'm aware, would, uh, but oil prices uh, oil start prices, change. Yes. Like because in Europe is whenever, like, say, like a war in Cairo fucking breaks out. Like, well, even though I have nothing going there, it still changes, yes. like, you know, the economy. OPEC flips out. All right, 1965. It's almost over, everybody. 
Korean ordered some Viscounts because they yeah. didn't pay attention to the sale last time around. Korean uh, also losing money on three rounds by the looks of things. Alright, eight slots in LA. So, let's go ahead and... You maybe see. save. Maybe save? Wow. Save, save the game. That'd be a... That'd be a hell of a thing to do, wouldn't it? Yeah, particularly if you update this uh, this cartridge, in quotation, save. That's true. Cartridge save. Alright, so there we go. Animation. I don't think I've ever turned the animation off. How about that message speed that you've left on medium? <laughs> Of course, that's the fucking way you go. What <laughs> shall we do? Stab Bobo. <laughs> Slow speed. What speed would you like? How about the same as the difficulty name? Turbo. Ah, that would be good. Alright. Uh... Let's go ahead and save that we did that, just in case that's a thing. <laughs> Alright, man. <laughs> okay, um... Do we want to throw any more planes on any of these routes? Because now we've sort of price-optimized them, which means that we don't need to put any more planes on any of them. Dang, I got these eight slots now, and I've gone ahead and tweaked up all the prices in the region so that I don't actually need those slots just yet. Yeah, we can just sit on our mountain of slots. I mean, you're keeping them open just in case you need to, you know, retain control over North America, right? Oh yeah, in case I need to flood the market with uh, airplanes. Um, although, yeah. in terms of making some money, uh, I feel like Toronto or maybe Chicago would be a not bad new route to open up. Alright, sure. It might make you two million. Yeah, but they're they're cheap as candy to open up. Look at that. Twelve million, that's nothing. Eleven million, that's even less than nothing. Alright, well I mean, I'm sure your folks would like to be put to work. Wait a minute, it's a green hub. Yeah, Atlanta is certainly a prominent city with a prominent airport. Well, it is now. I mean, it's been for a period of time. I didn't realize that it was uh, considered so mighty even back in the, uh, in the 50s. I just also realized I've never seen any anybody, either myself or a computer character, ever start from Atlanta. Well, like, it's, I mean, it's possible to do. It's a green dot, but, uh... Yeah, you'll be rocking pretty strong with that 200,000 population. I mean, you might as well just choose the, one of the other green hubs there. Wow. Toronto is, uh... Superior in every way to Atlanta. Superior in every way to Atlanta. Take that, Atlanteans. Though Chicago superior in That's most right, ways fluffy. to uh, Turbo, where messages are instantly delivered into your brain. <laughs> Power <laughs> thirst. I'm not flying into uh, Kenya right now, but um, that's okay. So it'd be half the cost to uh, set a flight into Toronto uh, as it would to be into Chicago, and nobody else is flying into Toronto. The question is, are they not flying into Toronto for a reason? Ah well. Let's let's take nine months. Give that guy something to do. And uh, let's go ahead and save our money for DC eights. I will anchor my fleet with this. I can order a maximum of one plane. Good programming, guys. You caught that uh, one plane is plane, and two planes is planes. Two planes is planes, alright. That's, that's what I said. 
It's We're mine. That's my street name. Two planes. Oh, mine is, is planes. We should hang out. No, I think it's dumb. <laughs> you think hanging out is dumb? No, I think your name is dumb. I think your face is dumb. <laughs> my face doesn't have an intelligence score. It can't be dumb. As opposed to the intelligence score that my name has. <laughs> All right, yep. Vancouver, New York. Move that. Well, 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 let's let's see how our viscounts are faring in Europe. Or did I do all of that horse trading on this turn? I can't remember now. It was last turn. It was last turn. So that viscount in Vienna is nice and nice and full. Let's go ahead and uh, Pack bump up like the fare a little bit. There we go. Haha, -ha, Vienna, I see what happened there. Alright, so Madrid and Athens. None of those really changed. Nice. And it's yes, your just load right increased about. by two more percent. Nice. That is that's that's just right. That's what we want. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> Rip turn. Rest in pieces turn. There we go. Here lies turn, pepperoni and chies. Metlink was losing a lot of money on those roads. Oh jeez, and they're flying into Phoenix too. I think they're getting desperate to take over North America. Yes, the AI and its desperation. Meanwhile, all the world's monuments are still in Mexico. Oh, Tehran Airport expanded, yes! That's right, they're like, screw India and Pakistan, we know people still want to come here. Uh, what happened to the world? Good world, everyone. <laughs> That's interesting, they just decided not to do any animations. That... Like, animations oh. are dumb! <laughs> that link is uh, back over you by two million. They, they are. That's unfortunate. Thankfully, we are, we are still number one across varying varying regions. All the ones that we uh, put any concerted effort into. When are you going to start dominating these other regions and winning the game, Bobo? Um, I still don't have every confidence that we'll win the game. Um, I still feel like Metlink is... You have control over Metlink's home region, plus Europe... Plus your home region. And you can throw one of these regions out over your shoulder, along with the bathwater and the baby. Don't throw babies, guys. Don't don't take did, your did cues you from Snitsky. That, did you not see that VR game I linked to Lethal <laughs> earlier today? You throw babies on that game. I think I, I... I glanced at it briefly while at the office. I also saw the new Nintendo NX, but I think you... Probably, if you've been on Twitter, so you've looked at me thrash about that. Yes, the thrash. <sighs> Pull out a fucking, like, guitar and... <laughs> yes, bang it into the ground. Or perhaps you were thinking I was shredding hot licks. I'm not really sure. But how would I pee my waffles?